essentially to create a high bandwidth interface to the brain because uh, the right right now we are already a cyborg people don't realize we are already a cyborg what are you supposed to say um, just things about AI perhaps yeah. uh, okay let's see um. yeah the AI, right? You want to start on as AI. Yeah. Okay. It, it is, okay, great. AI, yeah. Um, actually, I'm told that, does AI mean love? It, like, is that, there's like a name, AI? It sort of sounds a bit like love? Yeah, AI. I, I hate the word AI called artificial intelligence. I call it Alibaba intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> might, might end up being true. You never know. Um, I think generally people um, underestimate the the capability the capability of AI. They sort of think like it's a smart human, um, but it's, it's it's really much. It's going to be much more than that. Um, it'll be much smarter than the smartest human. Yeah. I mean, it'll, be, it'll be like you know, if, like can a chimpanzee really understand humans? Not really, you know. They just we just seem like strange aliens. Um, well, they mostly just care about other chimpanzees, uh, and uh, this will be how it is, more or less, in a relative. Inter in fact, if it's if if the difference is only that small, that would be amazing. Probably it's much much greater. So, like the, like the the biggest mistake that I see artificial intelligence researchers making is assuming that they're intelligent. Yeah, they're not compared to AI. And so they, a lot of them cannot imagine something smarter than themselves, but AI will be vastly smarter, vastly. So what do you do with a situation like that? What do you do with a situation like that? I'm not sure, you know. Hope, I hope they're nice. I mean, I, I have obviously some, you know, I think in a situation where you, if you, you know, the old saying, if you can't, if you can't beat them, join them. You know, that's what Neuralink is about. Is like, uh, can we go, be a, go along for the ride with AI? Um, I mean, I really think that there should be other companies like Neuralink, um, essentially to create a high bandwidth interface to the brain. Because uh, right, right now we are already a cyborg. People don't realize we are already a cyborg because we are so well integrated with our phones and our computers uh, the, the phone is almost like an extension of yourself if you forget your phone it's like a missing limb yeah you know because uh, what's our bandwidth like a few hundred vision about the technology I'm not a tech guy I think more about life I think AI is going to open a new chapter of the society of the world that people try to understand ourselves better rather than the outside world and uh, it's so difficult to predict the future 99.99 percent of the predictions that human being had in the history about the future all wrong including that one oh yeah <laughs> only you know the the 0. 0.00 percent of the prediction are right they're right because by accident yeah but it's also true that 80 percent of statistics are false yeah. So my meaning uh, is cold that room. Come on, guys. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so when people worry a lot about artificial intelligence, people should have more confidence in themselves, because I think if a lot of solutions we don't have today, but there will be solutions tomorrow. We don't have solutions, but the young people will have solutions. So I'm quite optimistic, and uh, I don't think. Artificial intelligence is a threat. I don't think artificial intelligence is something terrible, but human beings are smart enough to learn that.